Okay, so uh, another point to make is that the CFR doesn't talk about the four skills in, in as separate things. So uh, it doesn't talk about speaking, writing, listening, reading as the way of looking at skills. Um, it acknowledges that there are these, these modes of interaction, but um, it talks about reception, production, interaction, and mediation, and it always has had these four categories. We've added descriptors for mediation now. So to break that down, um, you, you can look at production, interaction, and mediation as, as uh, the, what's happening when, when you actually communicate between people and collaborate. Um, people produce the language, they respond to each other, and they help each other understand things. Uh, this is mediation. Um, the, the reception part, the, the, the reception of reading and listening, um, in, in, when you're learning a language, obviously this is how you're, you're uh, absorbing the, uh, the language resources as well. Um, and so you can see a connection there uh, that, that is made more explicit with mediation, is that you might read something, you might hear something, and then um, synthesize that information and repackage it to help other people understand it. So it's more than just straight interpreting. Um, which is being, uh, just a transparent uh, transferal of information. Um, the, the, the speaker is very much involved in reinterpreting things um, uh, when they mediate. What we mean by the different types of mediation. Um, in the CFR you'll see mediating, mediating communication and um, cognitive mediation. There's a typo there, um, but you can ignore that. Um, so mediating communication is in, enhancing the effectiveness of communication. Um, and this is what you do as teachers or every day. Uh, you, you, you use strategies to create a positive, a positive collaborative atmosphere. Um, and, and there is some of the conflict resolu resolution that might come into that in, the, in that area of skill. But um, uh, what's interesting also for learning and uh, teaching and learning is this mediating of concepts um, in cognitive mediation. Um, which it, it might be collaborating to come to a collective decision. Um, this is problem solving. Um, and mediating a text, uh, the, the word text here can refer to something you may have heard or, or read um, or, or even watched on a video and so on. And, and, and this is where we get into relaying, summarizing and synthesizing information. Uh, we could think of some examples of integrated skills tasks. Uh, we've mentioned information gap and problem solving, presentations, group, group presentations as well, and collaboration. So um, you'll be familiar that uh, information gap uh, might involve people receiving different information um, uh, or a problem to work on, and uh, they exchange information and uh, help other people understand what they've um, uh, read or listened to. Um, and then come to some kind of collaborative decision about it. Mini presentations, um, they don't have to be front of class. They might be within a group. Um, it might be uh, some kind of show and tell in, in, in groups. But it, it, it can often be based on a source text. And this is where mediation often comes into play as well. And uh, group presentations, similarly, uh, they, they, it might involve some gathering information from web research before the class. You might give people homework to look up things and, and, uh, uh, and synthesize some kind of uh, thing that they want to present um, and assign each other roles. This is where the collaboration comes in. And, and if you have the type of class that's working together for a long period of time and can engage in uh, project-based learning, then you've got more of this scope for creative collaboration um, you know, building a proposal, building a product, a poster, uh, a school magazine, um, and uh, that's more long term.